and I'm going to draw nice and slow and I'm going to just dance down this side of the face and I'm going to do my very best to get it to look like her with the least amount of line possible, okay? Because the least amount of line is the way to go when you're doing a, uh, any drawing, whether it be a figure drawing um, or a portrait, okay? So that is the shape of my face, all right? Now the big thing with this face is that this eyebrow is lower than that eyebrow, so there's like a tilt. So I got to make sure that I get this eye and this eyebrow higher. All right, so I'm going to do something different this time. This time what I'm going to do is I don't even care about the hair right now. I'm going to put that in. I want to focus in on the face. And I am immediately going to put in shadow shape. Okay, and I'm not going to do it with like this Andy Warhol type line that is like so pressing down hard. I'm just going to get it in very softly. So this time around I'm going to draw like almost like a painter. Okay, so I'm going to come on in and I'm going to get the side plane of that nose. And this is my natural way of drawing. I mean, when I do line, I really got to think. I mean, and I think I'm pretty good at line, but, you know, tone is the way that I was trained because um, I was trained first as a painter. So it's always easier for me to get down that side plane of the nose and that side under plane of the nose with tone. And then there's this like little cast shadow that the nose is casting, which is really not the most flattering thing to put on a portrait, but let's just try to get it so we can get it exact. So now I'm looking at the distance from here to here, and I'm also looking at the distance from here to here on that picture. So I'm just going to get in these lips, and I'm again, uh, it's like the same thing as the eyes. One side of the lip is going to be like a little bit higher, and I'm just trying to go for a very light impression um, I'm not pressing down hard and I'm so not using line like I think a great way for you to draw at home or in life class or drawing at the museum is to do sometimes if you're working on a longer drawing sometimes to do this very soft tone and then you go on top of it with your line and when you go on top of it with your line it just really jumps now Every teacher that you have um, is going to come from a different place. I mean, some teachers don't like when you use line. They say there's no such thing as a line in a drawing. It's just a tone next to a tone. And I agree with that. Um, but, I mean, I've changed over the years and I've changed. I just like the line. It just, for me, it makes the drawings pop a little bit more. So I put the line in and I don't care about it looking totally, totally, you know, tonal. I want it to have some pop. So let's just go. I got the impression of that eye, and now let's get the impression of this eye. So what I do is I just put in like that little thing, and I don't want her to be cross-eyed. And her, she is looking like in a weird way in this in this pose. It's a tough one to get. So I'm just going to get it in as lightly as I can first, okay? And then I got to look at the distance from here to here. Okay, she's got like a little light shape right above her upper eyelid. So I'm going to get that in, and now this is just soft. And there's a really cool triangular front plane shadow on her cheekbone. And this comes in and we wrap around. Okay, cool. So let's just shade this. And um, I'm just going to come down with a generic downward pencil motion. Okay, I should have done it on a diagonal or I could have done it with the lay of the land, meaning I'm going with the way the cheek is going. Okay, so that's cool. That looks like her and I like it. So I know this picture is not the best to see on the camera, especially over here because the values are very um, close together. But trust me, there's like hair here and then there's like a strand of hair that comes down over here and it's going to frame her face a little bit. So now let's come back and look at the negative space from her chin to her shoulder and get the angle in of her neck. And that looks good. I'm going to leave it like that. And uh, her neck comes in to her shirt, right into the nape of her neck. Now let's do some angles over here with this. So I'm angling up. I'm, you guys can see I'm not doing pure angles this time around on a drawing. Probably because I've been drawing all day now. And I, if I'm not warmed up by now, I'm never going to be warmed up. But i got to admit my um, line's a little bit more organic than it was earlier. So let's just kind of do the angles, but do them in an organic way. So this comes down this way, and I think what I need to do is I just maybe make this a little taller and maybe kick this out a little bit more. And this is the part that I was explaining that you guys can't really see. That's where the photograph ends, somewhere over there. 
And so now let's push it. Now let's start to press down harder on our pencil. Before I do that, I forgot about her neck. So I'm going to come on back and try to make her look a little bit longer. And this shoulder, and the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the shape of her skin versus the shape of her shirt. And it's something like that. It's skinnier than what I have. So this needs to come on in. Okay, cool. And now let's continue with the same pencil stroke for our first layer of tone, and that's going to be that downward stroke. All right, so let's um, come in and do the contour a little bit harder and adjust our measurements. This kicks in and we're going to make her chin a little shorter. I made it too long. Okay, it's, it's a round sharp edge which again is one of those oxymoron things. But you got to just go with me on that. Alright, so I'm going to leave it and this line is too straight. So this is going to bow out and um, now let's come back and frame her face a little bit more with her hair. And this rolls in. This is side plane dark. And um, let's just match the value. I'm sorry. Let me scratch that. Let me just put a middle tone in here. I don't want to go black with it, even though it's jet black in the photo. I just want to put it in very lightly just to frame out her face. And this I'm not going to um, put tone in because if I do, my hand's going to be black and I'm going to smudge the whole drawing because I'm working left to right. So now let's just keep going with this. Now let's pop some features. So let me just um, use a, a pencil that's a little sharper. And this eyebrow comes up and then we come down and then we come down this way. So I'm looking at the angle and I'm looking at that shape as an abstract shape, that front plane of her upper eyelid area. It's not her upper eyelid, it's just the way that her eyes are built. Uh, her upper eyelid is really um, skinny in this pose. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick the lashes. It's an optical illusion, but you got to learn how to do it. You're, you know, this is just a side plane of the inside of her eye. And now her iris is like right about there. Okay. And let's just work this a little bit more and come on in and press down harder. 